Hey guys, uh, so this is going to be a general read for Thursday. Let's see what the universe has in store for everyone today. Alrighty, so universe, oh, I feel like that one wanted to pop out. So I'm going to see what she's got going on because I feel like she's eager to talk to us. So I have firm foundation, intuition, accelerated motion, balance, and stand your ground. Mm. So I feel like we're going to be speaking about a situation in your life um, where your needs aren't being met, uh, your wants aren't being met, but I feel like part of that is you're not um, voicing it. Um, I feel like we're going to be talking about um, being more assertive to be able to get what we want in life. I have the crown chakra, which tends to represent a spirituality. I have temptation, triumph, transformation, and I have uh, the base chakra, which can speak to the physical body um, or to money. So I definitely feel like we're going to be doing um, some personal growth in this read. That's what we're going to be talking about. Um, sort of taking back control of our destiny and asking for, for what we want and what we need in life um, so that the universe can help deliver it to us. I feel like we're probably going to be speaking about a relationship because I have the King and the Queen of Cups here. I also have the Strength card in between. Um, to me, it represents a very strong bond. So I feel like this is this is a marriage or this is a, a long-term committed relationship that we're going to be talking about here. I also have the Ten of Cups, which represents abundance in the home life. Um, and then I have the judgment card and the judgment card usually usually speaks of karma and sort of getting back what you've put into a situation or out into the world Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands can represent new beginnings and it can represent a new beginning in um, a business venture. I almost feel like that's what we're talking about here because I did get that base chakra uh, that can represent money. I have the Justice card as well and I see the word fair when I look at her. So to me the universe is speaking of an even balance here. Um, and getting your fair share of things. I have the High Priestess. And I feel like it's tying in um, to the Crown Chakra here. And speaking about sort of trusting your intuition. Listening to your inner voice. And doing what you already know deep inside is right. I have the four of wands. The four of wands tends to represent setting a solid foundation for the future. And the nine of cups represents abundance and usually in, um, in personal matters as well. So I feel like in this read, we're talking about, I feel like we're talking about starting a business or some sort of business venture, some new beginning. Maybe it's an investment. And making the right choice in that. And I, I feel like it's also speaking to, to equality. So I'm wondering if this is going to be between you and your partner. This is something that you and your partner are doing together. And you're wanting to make sure that it's, it's an even give and take. I have the five of wands and the five of wands can represent conflict. Um, To me, I feel like it's more of a warning 
of not standing your ground, not voicing your opinions, um, your needs, your wants, your thoughts. I feel like that's where you're opening the door for conflict to allow it to come in because you're not being 100% clear. You're not you're not giving your partner that clarity and, and maybe you're not getting that clarity from your partner as well in this venture. I have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles can represent abundance. It could be something else. I want to get more supporting cards before I jump on that, but definitely abundance. Um, I have the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups tends to represent good news coming soon. I feel like it ties into this business venture. I have the Wheel of Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune uh, represents your fortunes changing for the better. So I feel like it's also coupled with this Page of Cups and the Bay Chakra for money and, and the Ace of Wands and this, this new business venture that's coming your way. wands here um sometimes in a read he just represents a feel or certain qualities um in this read i feel like he represents a person i got him next to the devil card which i got on top of the five of wands so i feel like there's a third party involved involved in this business venture and i I don't know um, that they're the most constructive partner in all of this. I feel like an underlying <sighs> manipulative, destructive energy. Mm, like there's a game afoot. Like this person has ulterior motives. So your best interests aren't at the forefront of their mind. Uh, they have their own interests. So that's something I would watch for. Um, I also have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords can represent uh, disappointing endings, uh, but ones that are beneficial for you in the long run. And the Moon. And the Moon card can represent uh, truths that are yet to be uncovered. I feel like it's speaking to this relationship with this third party and their involvement in all of this and um, their involvement in this business venture um, might need to be revisited or um, sort of rethought. They might not be the best fit uh, for what's going on here depending on what's happening. I have the Three of Wands. To me, the Three of Wands represents a positive forward progress towards your goals. So I feel like it's encouraging you to keep moving forward with this new business venture. Mm -hmm. So definitely feel like this person um, their motives are not particularly honest because I pulled the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Swords can represent a situation in which you feel like something was taken from you unfairly. Um, he caught the short end of the stick. It can also speak to theft. Um, so I feel like, I feel like they're going to try and take advantage of the relationship and try and get more than their fair share in this. I have the Two of Swords. And a lot of times the Two of Swords uh, represents trouble making a decision, confusion, uh, feeling, feeling deadlocked. I feel like it speaks to deception in this read and being able to take a step back and looking at things um, from a different perspective to be able to find clarity. And it's definitely in regards um, to this, this King of Wands, um, the devil. I feel like this is this is one in the same, this third party person. I also have the three of swords and the three of swords can represent separation. And I feel like it's also speaking to the ten of swords and to this this person as well. Uh, there might need to be 
there might need to be um, uh, a separation to this this relationship depending on on what happens I have the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles represents uh, starting to see the fruits of your labor so I feel like that's when this is all gonna come to light uh, once this business venture starts going um, the ball gets rolling you start to see um, profits coming in I feel like that's when you're gonna see this person's true colors um, so pay close attention to what's going on around you I have the eight of wands and the eight of wands represents communication so definitely keeping those lines of communication open uh, between you and your partner and with this third party as well and just keeping an eye on everything that's going on I have the death card and the death card can represent a uh, transition so sort of closing one chapter and beginning another I feel like it ties into the transformation card and sort of beginning a new chapter of your life here I also have the world card and to me the world card is a good omen card it represents positive things manifesting in your life and not just out of the blue things that you've been working towards are things that you earn through learning life lessons and I feel like um, that's what it's going to be with this third party and being able to to see what's going on being able to deal with it being able to stand your ground and stand up for yourself and and um, what is fair and what is yours so that you don't wind up with the short end of the stick here and I feel like the universe is going to reward you for that with this abundance um, from the Ten of Pentacles. Alrighty guys, that's what this read said to me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to comment because I love hearing from you guys. Take care.